Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Excel's auto sum, everything auto sum. If you find this useful, please do click on the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell. It means a lot to the channel. And with all that said, let's jump on over to Excel. Okay, so in this example here, I have a small range of some values um, here and I've got a list of different functions that we can use using the auto um, sum ability. So um, to start with let's look at the sum function which is probably the one that most people know when they refer to auto sum um, and some of these other ones that we'll uh, look at afterwards which are also auto sum um, functions. So the first thing that we're going to do is just select the cell in which we would like to apply the actual sum value and then navigate over to the home tab on the ribbon across on the far right hand side you will see the auto sum um, function just here now for sum which is set as default you can just click directly into the button and back over to our range here we can see that it has automatically detected all of the values above it uh, above the function that is um, and highlighted them for you assuming that that is what you would like to actually summarize in this particular example that is so I can just press return and I can now see the summarized value of all of those cells now if I came um, across to let's say over here on this side back to the home tab on the ribbon across to the right hand side click on auto sum it's going to assume that only one number that is adjacent to me is the value that I would like to summarize um, but I can adjust this by just dragging down the list and selecting more cells than what it had assumed I wanted and again just press return and I have my summarized value okay Next on the list is to look at the auto sum ability for an average. So if we wanted to average this particular range, we can do the same thing um, with the auto sum ability. So back over to the home tab on the ribbon, across to the auto sum. This time you'll see there's a little drop down menu, just tap on that, navigate down to the average, click that, and now it's assumed that all of the numbers above um, it would like to average. We don't want all of them, we only want this particular range here. Uh, we don't want to include the original sum so we're just going to highlight those and as you can see it's b2 to b9 and i can press return and now i have an average function for that particular range and it's as quick as easy as that um, to use the auto sum for average we can do the same thing for count so we can go back over to the home tab click on home cross to the um, auto sum from the drop down menu we can choose count numbers uh, and again we'll select just the range of values that we're looking for and press return and now we can see that there are eight values in our range um, which we get averaging here and we are summing here now let's say we would like to know what the maximum number is within our range again the auto sum can do this we head over to the home tab come across here to the drop down menu and choose max and again we'll just select the range that we would like and press return now it shows us the maximum value within our range is 120,000 the same thing applies for a minimum go to the home tab come across to the auto sum from the drop down menu select min um, and then just select the range that we would like press return and we can see the smallest value in our range is 5,000 and that is all of the various quick uses of auto sum within Microsoft Excel. You can also navigate to the auto sum um, function, the formulas, and it's just here on the, the left hand side. And again, you have all those same drop down menus um, that you can select from there. Um, and that is it guys if you found this useful please click on the like button hit subscribe and tap that bell it means a lot to the channel and i will catch you guys in the next video